Mary Noob here, and today I have a new unboxing video for you. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing the 2016 January Snack Fever. Ooh. This is a new snack box. I'm very excited about it. This is a Korean snack box. So a lot of you guys know that I've been unboxing a lot of Japanese snack boxes, and I found this one. Somebody actually, somebody actually told me about this one. I don't remember who you are, but if I remember by the time I'm editing this video, I'll put your name right here. Right here. Right here. Hopefully. We'll see how it goes. Um, this box is really cool. I don't really know if it's cool, actually. Um, but it seems like the people who run this company seem cool. I follow them on Instagram, and the pictures sound fun, and they have, like, they just seem like a fun place to work, so that's cool. Uh, this box is $20 a month. It is free shipping in the U.S., $9 to $30 worldwide, depending on the box size and where you live. They ship to the United States, UK, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, Austria, France, Germany, Norway, Denmark, Sweden, Finland, Netherlands, Switzerland, and Spain. So potentially whoever wins my giveaway, if you're international and this is a box that you want, which I don't know if any of you guys really want snack boxes, but you know, this could be an option. I'll go to put the pricing details. Oh gosh, I almost cut myself again. I lost my knife and I have to use this thing and I'm not used to it. Look at, look what I just did, it bent, see? I'll go to put the pricing details in the description below just in case you're interested in getting this box. It is a Crate Joy box, just a heads up. But here we go. Once you cut the tape and you open up the box, this is what you're gonna see. And this company is housed out of LA. That's cool. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and show you all of the items and then we'll go ahead and try some of these. <gasps> oh, I'm really excited. Are these the, what are these? I'm gonna use a little booklet cause you know. So the first item that we got are crunchy rice bar. There's two different flavors that you could have got. You either get coffee or rich cheese. It's pop crunchy rice bar with no fat. Made from corn syrup and natural cane juice. It's weird that they even put that. Why would you want to say that you're made from corn syrup? Although I like savory items, I think I'm glad I got the coffee flavor because I don't know how much I would have liked the cheese one. But I probably would have preferred the, the savory over the sweet. Is this sweet? I don't know if it's sweet. Next we got Mom's Homemade Pie. Pastry pie with sour cream butter baked through low temperature for 18 hours. They look like little crackers. Then we got sweet rice pie. There's two of these. Traditional rice cake pie. Soft cream inside of sticky rice cake covered with chocolate. I don't know. It sounds a little bit like mochi. Oh. Then we got veggie cracker. Roasted biscuits made of 100% Korean vegetables. I wonder what Korean vegetables means. Like this looks like it has a picture of carrots, bell peppers, and onions. American vegetables too. I'm excited to try this though. Savory item. Next we got Harvest Original. Unique flavored sweet and crisp cracker. Oh, by the way, I got the original box. So there's the mini and the original. I think the mini is $12 a month. The original is $20 a month. Everything that I just showed you comes in the mild box. So I guess those would be the items that you get in your mild box. Now we're on to the original box, which is like the more premium. This is Shikari. Shikai is a traditional sweet Korean beverage served after meal or during tea time. It's one of the most common and popular traditional holiday drinks in Korea. It's called rice punch. Oh, there's legit rice in here. It says shake well. I don't know if I'm gonna try that. Next we have Otogi cheese ramen. I've never had cheese ramen before. The cheese ramen is very popular in Korea right now. It has a mild cheese taste to it. Okay, I like ramen. Oh, yes. I think I've had these before. These are Ojingjio Tang Kong, spicy. It's basically a, oh yeah, it's a peanut ball inside of a fried squid cracker. I hope this has a, a heavy duty squid flavor. Sometimes they don't. That's exciting, and it's spicy. Then we have tiramisu. Premium fresh and soft cake with cream cheese inside. Try having it with milk or coffee. And the last item that we have is scotch almond candy. Scotch candy with crunchy almond inside. I mean, the almond's not really on the inside. I don't know if you can see this, but the almond's just sitting on top of it. It's like, uh, it looks like a butterscotch candy with an almond on top of it. That came with three of those. Oh, and it came with a little snack fever sticker. The theme to this, oh, they have themes, that's cool. It's Happy New Year. I don't know if that's the theme, actually. Oh, this is cool. So the picture of the items, and then it has a back to 1988 snacks. I don't actually know what this is. It gives you a list of other snacks, but these don't come in the box, so I don't know. I don't know what this is. I don't. This booklet confuses me. Okay, if 
you don't want to watch me try some of these items, then you should head out now. But let's do this. Um, I will not be trying the ramen because it's late and I don't want to go downstairs to cook it. Let's do the crunchy rice cake. Oops. Oh, coffee flavored. I would have preferred not to open the bag like I just did, but... Oh, it smells like coffee. These are giant, and there's five of these. I think I might have preferred the cheese one. It's got a very strong coffee flavor. It's like, it's like the rice cakes that come in... The Quaker rice cakes that Americans eat that come in the circle. It's like that. Not my most favorite item. Next up, we have Mom's Homemade Pie. These are the crackers that have sour cream butter baked into them. They just smell like crackers. It's all broken. I don't know if it's supposed to be one sheet. It's definitely buttery. It's a little bit sweet. It's got a little bit of an odd flavor. Almost like, you know when you put something in a Ziploc bag and sometimes it tastes a little bit like Ziploc bag? This almost kind of tastes like that. Like it took on the flavor of, of the plastic or something. It's okay, but... I wouldn't necessarily crave eating this. I don't, nah. It's got that flaky, buttery texture, but the I don't like the flavor. The flavor's a little bit off for me. Next, we have the sweet rice pie, which sounds terrible, to be honest. It's sticky rice covered in chocolate. Oh, uh, I want to say it's like probably their take on mochi. It looks like a giant York peppermint patty. There's some kind of cream inside of the rice cake. So it's like cream, then like the sticky rice, and then chocolate. I actually don't mind this. I thought it was going to be worse because I don't like mochi. I don't like the flavor of mochi, but I like the texture of this, actually. It's almost like a marshmallow, but it's rice. It does have a very similar texture to a marshmallow, or maybe a little bit more dense. I like this, actually. And the chocolate actually helps it. Like, I'm sure if you didn't have the chocolate, it would taste a little bit bland. But I like the texture of that. It's like on the verge of being a, a gummy, but it's not. Next, we're going to try the vegetable crackers. Oh. Oh, these smell like chicken and a biscuit crackers. Oh, yeah. And they look like baby Ritz. Mm-hmm. These actually taste like the chicken and a biscuit, just not a season. Mmm. I like these a lot. They taste exactly like Ritz, too, like the texture of the cookie and, like, the buttery taste. It tastes like a Ritz. Okay, next we have Harvest Original. Some kind of sweet and crisp cracker. It looks really sweet. It has a, a butter vanilla smell. It looks like it just has sugar caked onto this thing. Basically, the sugar that's on top of it is really the only sugar in this cookie. It's very buttery. It's got sesame seeds in it. It's very thin and it's very flaky. This is a very good mix. Like, if you want something, if you like savory items, but you want something a little bit sweet, like, this is something that's good for that that craving. I don't really want to try this. Somebody's taking a shower. I don't really want to try this, but I know it'll just sit in a box if I don't try it. So I guess I might as well try it. I think there's actually rice in this. I don't even know. It says ginger. I don't... I'm not looking forward to it. Oh, it smells like ginger. Ugh. Okay, here we go. Oh. Ugh. I thought it was going to be like, I don't know. It's just like, it's kind of bland. It's kind of sweet. You know what this tastes like? There's bits of rice in it. It almost tastes like a mixture of the Chinese red bean soup and then like the tapioca soup that you get at the end of dinner. But it's like just the liquid part of it and it's not thickened. So it's very, like this is very thin. It's not the worst thing I've ever had, but it's not the greatest thing. So I'm not trying the ramen. Let's try the squid balls. I hope these are really squiddy flavored. Last time I got these, and I want to say it was these exact ones, they weren't very squid flavored. It was disappointing. Yeah, these don't smell heavily of squid. I got these like, I want to say they were Japanese ones. Oh, these were the ones that were like gi giant. Yeah, I remember these. Okay. I don't think the one I got last time were um, spicy flavored. They were good. There's a squid flavor at the end. It's not super strong, but it's there. Uh, these are full of seasoning on the outside. Now you can lick the seasoning off. That's awesome. I know you can't see it, but it's basically like a cracker and then the nut inside. Mm. Yeah, I like these. Of course I do. I know I would. All right, two more items. First item is a tiramisu cupcake with cream cheese filling. It just smells like cake. Hey, Jennifer! You want to try some of this? 
You wanna try some of this? Okay, so here's a little cake. You break it in half and it has your filling. No, just here, you, you don't have to come to the camera. It's tiramisu. <gasps> it's Korean tiramisu though. I don't know Ooh. what that means. And it has a cream filling. Oh my gosh, it's okay. delicious. It's just like Asian cake. It's not, it really reminds me of um. It's not tiramisu flavored. Oh. Yeah. This tastes like Asian cake that's very spongy. And then the cream is... But you know what it tastes like? The cream is like... It's a weird texture. It tastes like butter. Like, like it has a butter texture. Like the texture. cream in those rolls. In the Asian rolls? Yeah. yeah. It just tastes like Asian cake. It's not bad. It's not... It doesn't taste... Does you taste coffee? Doesn't tear much just to have like coffee? Mm, yeah. So I think they're supposed to have some kind of... um Stouston's kind of alcohol and coffee. Oh. These don't have it. It just tastes like a cupcake with mm. cream in it. Do you want another one? Oh. Yeah. Thank you. <clears throat> that rules. All right, that wasn't bad. It just wasn't amazing. The last item is the Scotch almond candy. So I think these are butterscotch candies with al an almond in them. I know I say almond weird. Almond, almond. I say almond. What was it almond? So like I said before, it looks like a butterscotch candy with an almond on top. I had that cake flavor in my mouth. I should have rinsed it out. I don't know why I did that. It's kind of like a caramel toffee flavor. It's very sweet. It's not bad. Not my favorite. All right, so that was your 2016 January snack fever box. For $20, not bad. Uh, I actually like it. Um, very unique items. I'm not really into Korean food. Like, I don't go to the Asian store and get Korean food. I don't even know how much Korean food they actually sell at the Asian market. You know, I've been getting so many Japanese boxes that it's nice to get different types of items. You know, Korean items. I just like it. And I don't know. Even their sweet items didn't seem too sweet other than the candy I just ate and maybe the cake. But, like, I'm pretty excited about this box. I really liked, look, I had hoard, I hoarded all my favorite snacks over here. I love the squid peanut balls and the veggie crackers. Those were probably my two favorite things. Um, I'm excited to try the ramen. You can never have too much ramen in your house. So I'm excited about that. The sweet rice pie surprised me. And I actually like that. And then the mom's, the cracker things with the, the sour cream. That was okay. Not my favorite. The tiramisu just tasted like an Asian cake. And then the rice bar was kind of blah. Good job, Snack Fever. Thank you very much. Good box. All right. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there. And you should subscribe. Going for 4,000 subscribers. If I've already hit 3,000, I have no idea where I am. Obviously, just so you guys know, and I'm going to do videos about this because I feel like you guys think that I film the box and then I just post it. A lot of times I'll like film, I'll go on film spree. So like right now is a really busy time in subscription boxes and I have, I've been getting a ton in and so I can't even keep up with it. I'm not going to lie, sometimes I skip certain boxes because I want to unbox other ones and then I'll go to these ones because I'll film a whole bunch and then I will release them like one, two at a time basically and you know I want to make sure the good ones get out to you guys right away and then the other ones are just kind of, you know, they come out when there's a lull in me receiving boxes. So when I film this, I'm not at 3,000 subscribers, but when I post it, I might be. And if I am, my new goal is 4,000, and me and T have decided to do a live stream when we hit 3,500 subscribers. So look forward to that, and uh, yeah. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought about this box. It's actually a great box. Thank you to whoever it was that recommended this box. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I love trying out food. I love snack boxes, of course. I love food. But I love getting to try different types of food. So I've been getting a little bit tired of the Japanese boxes because I've started to get duplicate items. So this is really cool. Like it's kind of a fresh new snack box for me. So I like it. And it's only $20 and it's free shipping. So you can't really go wrong with that. Good value. Oh, I guess if I had to rate this box, I'd give this box a 4.25 out of 5 noobs. I thought it was a good box. Um, it could have used more savory items. I always say that. But good, good box and very good price. I really like the price point for the amount of items that you get. Because all the other Japanese boxes that give you similar items, they cost at least $25 to $30. So, and maybe even a little bit more. Remember, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions are not blocked or set to private, you'll make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great night, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Ain't that always the case? <laughs> Listen to this. As his electric car powered down, the first thing he saw was. Don't look at me.